Well guys, so welcome back to part three of the Construct tutorial series. In today's video, we're gonna do something slightly more advanced. We're gonna be working on enemy AI, artificial intelligence. We're gonna get our enemy to chase down our player. And then eventually we will then add a, you could say action once the enemy has reached the player to do something. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is select our enemy object and we're gonna to need to go and remove the sign behavior. So what we're gonna do is click on our behaviors and we're gonna right click this and say delete, okay? Because we don't want it to go backwards and forwards as per our previous demonstrations. What we're gonna to want to then do is add a new object, right click here, insert new object, and I want us to use a sprite again. And let us go and put in a solid. So let's just paint this, keep this nice and simple. Um, let's paint it maybe green, there we go and paint that and we can go ahead and close that then what we do is just going to resize that slightly and we're going to give it a little tilt just like that resize that down like that and let's give that a property as a solid right behavior add new give it the solid the reason for this is i want to pretend and simulate that this in fact is going to be a wall so we can gonna put that as wall so that we know that it is a wall. Right, now I have been naughty, yeah, you'll see. I wanna keep everything sort of the same. So I'm gonna just case sensitive and you can rename it. It'll rename the event sheets accordingly. It's just that we have unity in the project as a whole. Right, so great. So there we've got a wall. Yeah, we've got our player. So if we just simulate that, our player shouldn't be able to run through the wall. He should get stuck. Fantastic, he's gotta come around. Okay, great, let's get him back there. Now, the next thing we're gonna need to do is add a line of sight for the enemy so that the enemy can look for us um, when we are in view. So the first behavior we need to add is the line of sight behavior. Here we go. So let's go ahead and add line of sight. Obstacles, obviously solids and range. We can leave the range maybe to, yeah, we can leave it at that range, doesn't matter. It's just that you'll see across the whole screen and we can just run that just to make sure that this is all working. Right, and it's probably enabled, but we won't debug that now. Fantastic. Now we need to put the event sheet in. So the first event we're gonna do obviously is add our grouping again. Remember, keep it unity. We're gonna go enemy, enemy AI. So we know that all the AI functions are here. Then we need to add the condition. So now we're gonna have, obviously having added this behavior, line of sight to the enemy, we will know that it will pop up in the behaviors. In the condition so we click next enemy and now we look for line of sight area you'll see that this is now here this wouldn't be here if we never added the behavior and we're going to say has line of sight to object and we're going to select the object being the player right so there's our condition enemy has line of sight to player do something so in this case what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to chase the player down now we need to add the move to behavior all right this is now for this condition but it won't be accessible so again we go to layout we click on enemy we click on behaviors and we look for the move to type in move to theoretically what we're saying is we want the obviously the enemy to move to the to the player so now that that's added we could just set the params to maybe 80 because it'll be 200 will be too quick and we can set the angle leave that at default go over to the event sheet again and we can go add new click enemy go move to object so we go move to object select the object being the player and we can say direct okay so we can also do a waypoint in case we need to let him go somewhere first and then to the player so theoretically what's going to happen now is if i come around this wall this enemy is going to walk towards me because he's got a line of sight there he comes so now i'm hiding he's stopping oh he's coming and we are running away from him now we need to now ensure that that he when he's out of line of sight that he maybe stops he doesn't follow us you know in the last position we were standing so what we're going to do here is add another event add event and now you can invert this if you wanted to so you could copy this and paste it and then you could say invert right click basically click invert and we can just remove that now we say when the enemy doesn't have line of sight we can go enemy and we can go to the move to again and we can say stop and then we can say stop so now that should work when he doesn't see me so if he sees me there, he's coming, and now he stops. 
know he's probably wondering yeah we could do some animations like maybe a little question mark over his head something cool if i come around again eh, he sees me and now he stops oh there he sees me and now he stops okay so that's the simplicity with regards to that all right so let's go and create some depth animation here we're going to work with the frame for now we're not going to work a complete separate animation but let's just show the user the gamer playing the game that something has changed with the ai so let's double click the ai let's duplicate his frame right so that's zero that's one it's in the same animation this essentially would be called let's say idle or walk um, you'd have different scenes of animations with different frames but for now let's just work with a frame so for a frame here yeah, let's go ahead and make something creative let's put a little question mark above his head or oh, random little question marks so we know that this little guy is in fact confused okay there we go fantastic right so the default will be zero and then the confused guy's got the question marks so now what we do is we go to the event sheet and we say enemy add an action because this is has not line of sight when he doesn't have line of sight set the frame to if he doesn't let's set the frame to one means he's confused okay that's the confused one with the question mark but when he does see me let's ensure that the enemy set the frame to zero because that's the default okay means he's now on the charge for me so let's have a look and see what that does so as the game starts there you can see the question marks he's like looking for me as i come around that should change then there he's on the hunt and uh oh confused so yeah we can do some creative things when we begin the graphic side of things to show you guys what that looks like if you've got purchased assets you know here you can change the frames bearing in mind that when the character walks as well we need to run different animation sort of scenes because walking idling are different animation sprites of which we need to set the, the frames but that we're going to do in a separate lesson altogether so guys that's how we create a simple little ai the next one is going to be pathfinding that we're going to follow in our next video okay guys so that's all we have for this lesson i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and we'll catch you guys in the next one